Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hello, everybody. Welcome. It is the Ramble, and I am Alex Bennett, your humble and obedient host. Let me uh, just uh, try and um, get myself to not sound so tinny. Uh, I don't know why that happens, but it just, it does happen. It does happen. Uh, But anyway, over there, oh, damn it, I haven't got you. Uh, I got, I've got to reset this. Well, because you never come in in time for me to do hey, this. Hey, I've been here since five up, so don't give me that crap. Well, you should come in early. Well, I'm sorry. I can't get this thing. How about if I sit on another pillow? No, there we go. No, i got to go up the other way. There we go. No, that's... Oh, God. Oh, God, I can't do this. So just leave no, it. No, it won't. I, I just... I just want to... Um, I know what I can do. Just sit on a pillow. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. See, I, I'm trying to get it so we can so we can see her, right? Uh, but wait a minute. I know how I can get uh, change this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, pan a tilt. Okay, tilt. There we go. And pan over. Mm-hmm. There we go. All righty. Okay, I got. If she'd come in early, I could do this. But. Five of ten is early enough. Hmm. Five to ten is early. enough. What do you enough. mean five to ten is early? Five enough? minutes to ten is early enough. Oh really? Yeah. Oh okay. If you say so. I say so. Uh, let me see here. Let me show them you. All right. Okay. There, there, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to back your camera off a little bit. See, we have to do this when you're we're here now on the air. Uh, it, it, there we go. There we go. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, we, uh, there, there we are. And we'll tilt it uh, down a little more. Just will you just please look at the camera? Thank you. All right. Apply. All right. Okay. Okay. Got it all set now. This is professional, folks. This is really professional. Your golf ball's not here. I know my golf ball flew off somewhere, and I can't find it now. Where'd it go? It'll show up eventually. It'll show up eventually? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Somewhere it's here. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm looking for my golf ball. Where's my golf ball? I, that's the only golf ball I have. I can't. Do you have to do it now? I can't find the golf ball. Well, you well, look gonna, for it tomorrow. It's going to drive me crazy. Well, you look for it I, tomorrow. I think it went over that direction. Anyway, you, tomorrow you can look for anyway, it. Anyway, okay. So, uh, what, what? You just, for some reason, I'm, I'm small and you're big. Just leave it. Huh? Just leave it. Well, if you'd come in next week and we could do this ahead of time, it would help a great deal. All right? You don't care, do you, about coming on here? It's past my bedtime. It's past your bedtime. So uh, I, what? Good news. What? what I good? saw the doctor on Monday. Yeah. And he said you're healing better than I than expected. He said it's going to take a year. He said see me in three months and I can go back to the gym. So today was the first day I went back to the gym. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. And how was it at the gym? It was good. Did they miss you? I don't know if anyone knew, knows me. Huh? But yeah, some of the people. Some of the people. Yeah. Miss you. Okay. Anyway, fixing a couple of things here, trying to get the. What uh, happened to that pad that Phil sent you? He sent me a rug. I, like I, I like for your hair? You know, not a hair piece. <laughs> he sent me this little rug. Wait a it's minute. It's cute. Well, I've got, uh, got it. Hold on a second. I'll go over and get it. Don't I'll get show. it now. I can show, well, I can show it to people. You know, this is video. This is show and tell. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, let me just... Um, so bring it here if you don't want it. Well, well no, because it, 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 the trouble is, 
Uh, and I, I do like it. I mean, it's a very nice thing of him to have done. I like it, Phil. I'll put it on my this side. This is it. But the thing is, it takes up too much room here on the desk. Not for me. No. No, but perfect. I, but, perfect. Thank you, Phil. But it's not going to be there in a couple of, in a day or so because I need that room. Just leave it. Oh boy. There we go. Here, you can have your tissues back. What? <laughs> these, these are oh oh. oh. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, Phil. Phil's on vacation. Phil can't hear you. It's a Phil free. Yeah. Phil free tonight. Yeah, Phil free. Feel free to do Feel anything free. you want to do, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead. Uh, you know. Uh, but I, I, I wish I could get you just not as. Uh, let me unzoom you. How's there, this? There, there, How there, there, there we go. And then I tilt it uh, downwards a little bit. No, no, back. just go forward. Just go forward. You're fine. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I, I just, I just think that I need to. Uh, no, well, I'll, I'll do it next week. Uh, if, you, if you'll come in early. I don't know if I'll be here available next week. You don't know if you'll be available? Right. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. I'm going uh, to... I, I can't stand this. Uh, do I want... The, no, that's not the way it's supposed to go. It's supposed to go the other way. No? If I do that, there you go. Oh, that's perfect. There you that's go. That's perfect. Now that's... See? Now we're just about the same size. Okay, all right. Now we're okay. Hi. So, so you went to the gym. Yeah. Now you haven't been to the gym in how long? Three months. Three months. You haven't been to the gym, and uh, I was there for three hours. You were there for three hours. Yeah. Yeah. And, and two and a half hours. And, and after you were through, did it all hurt? No, it'll hurt tomorrow. It's usually the next day. Yeah, yeah. But you love going. Put the mic a little more straight towards you. It's tilted there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You've got your little mat you can change now. I like it. Yeah. It's so cute. Move your cap up a little bit so I don't people want can to. see that. Well, I want to see that beautiful face I it's married. It's Friday night. Huh? I, go, I prefer the clothes. Does everybody enjoy this or should we stop doing this? Thank you. Should we stop doing this what, because. The Friday night huh? thing? Yeah. Uh, are, you, are, are you enjoying this or is no. this just. Nothing much is happening. It's pain. It's pain. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I got an item here. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I have to go over and get the item now. Go ahead. Yeah. I have uh, some, I, I actually do some prep on the show. Well, I'm glad because like last week was fun. There was a list and we had discussion. Well, but we just talked about the uh, the Oscars. Oscars. How, much, how many of them did we get right? We didn't get many of them right. Well, there weren't that many good ones anyway. I mean, we got the best actor we got just simply because we didn't think it was he was the best actor, but we felt that he was going to win it. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I, I don't consider that an acting job. In fact, I consider him a pretty crappy actor overall. But anyway, where are we? Okay. Here's an item that I felt you should hear, and I told you earlier, and I have all the information now. So that you can comment on it now. Go ahead. Who 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 are your favorite people over at MSNBC? I like Joe and Mika. Joe and Mika, Brzezinski. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's but actually Scarborough now. It's Scar Scarborough. They married, oh, oh, they, they did they get married? Yeah, they got married a few months ago. Oh, okay. So now my question is. Uh, uh, watched, besides besides I, 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 them. Katie Turr. Katie Turd? Katie Turr. Turd? 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 Anyway, yeah. Who else? Um, the one that comes on after uh, Morning Joe. My mind's fuzzy. Stephanie Rule? Yeah, I like her. You like her? Yeah. Okay. How about Chris Matthews? Well, he comes on at 7. He's leaving, I hear. Well, I just I told you that. That's what this story is about. Uh -huh. Uh They've decided that, you He's know. He's too old. Uh, 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 Is that what they decided? Brian Williams has become somewhat of a hit over there. And in his 12 o'clock slot? It, it's late night, I mean. 12 o'clock. Yeah, but he is the number one show uh, uh, on cable news that hour. At that hour, well. Well, at that hour, but he's up against a lot of, but like Fox has some heavy hitters up against at, him. At midnight? Yeah, uh, no, it's 11 o'clock at night. 
And, uh, you know, I can see why it might have been popular because it's on at a time when people usually are watching the 11 o'clock news locally. So this is like a national news they can watch at 11 o'clock. Anyway, he's been very popular. And so they've decided they're, they're, they're thinking about moving him into the spot that's currently occupied by Chris Matthews. At seven. Who's been there forever. Ever. Uh, at uh, 7 p.m., uh, the former NBC Nightly News anchor was booted over to MSNBC in 2015 after barely surviving a controversy over his embellishment of his personal exploits. I thought that whole thing was a, you know. Oh, Brian Williams, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, was yeah. A, it was a ridiculous thing. Yeah. It was a ridiculous. Uh, but that was in the era when everybody was yeah. lying. Yeah. <laughs> Getting caught. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, so they put him there. Uh, he went over there. And, you know, it wasn't like he went over there and complained about it. No, it, they gave him a job. They kept him on. No, but he also took the job seriously. He said, I'm not going to sit here and grouse about the fact that I don't have the national news. And he, it, after a while, I remember reading, he actually said he liked doing the new show. He thought that that was a show he really was having a good time with. Uh, well, apparently they think that uh, despite his tyrant's reputation and graveyard-adjacent time slot, as it says here, Williams made his 11th hour with Brian Williams' show a legit hit, beating CNN and Fox News for three months straight. Wow. The Post reported, adding, multiple sources told us that execs think Matthew's hardball has gone soft and they're looking for relief from the bullpen. So they're going to put Matthew's on at midnight? I don't know what they're going to do with Matthews. I don't know if they'll fire him because they've had him on there. They've had him there so long. That would seem like complete disloyalty, you know. So uh, that's 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 not what they're, I don't think they're thinking of. All right. Um, uh, so uh, it, it, they say that uh, uh, the industry rumors suggest that bosses are unimpressed with Chuck Todd's Meet the Press spinoff to MTP Daily. Uh, and the report adds around NB MSNBC water coolers is also a theory that Williams could one day replace the hugely successful Morning Joe broadcast. Ah, no. Should the host and former pal Joe Scarborough revive his political career or exit for any reason? Oh, okay. Okay. They're not saying they're going to yeah. move. But that's a very popular show. Yeah. I actually watch it before I listen to you. Yeah. Now, the question here is, could Williams ever find his way back to the Plum Evening News spot no. at the broadcast network? No, no way, according no way. to the Post. Yeah, Le Lester, Lester has it nailed. NBC News source told us that while Williams' ratings have been noted, a lot of NBC journalists think Brian should have lost his job, and he's kind of forgotten at NBC News. But, <laughs> but MSNBC is NBC News, so oh, I, don't, I don't know what... Well, so this is from a professional uh, organization. Okay. What else so you want to talk about? What? Uh, uh, well, I, what? Uh, that, what? Oh, I thought I'd talk about that. Okay. I also wanted to do something here. I like uh, Brian Williams. Huh? I like Brian Williams. Well, good for you. No, I mean, I, yeah. I, where he is now, it's good. Yeah, I like him too. Uh, we, had, we had some sad news yesterday. That it, It's the first time anybody on the citizens panel has died. We've never had a death as a result of his being a citizen panelist. I'm not saying he died as a result was of being a citizen. Was he a citizen, citizen panelist? Yeah, he called all the time. What was his name? John Rockwell. He came here for dinner, dear. I... <laughs> Don't you remember? <laughs> no. Been a friend of mine for, I reckon, 40 years. I only met him that one time. 40, 40 maybe 44 four years, something like that. Mm. Since about 1975. Okay. Um, okay, so my friend uh, Dave uh, Weinstein, who used to work at Midnight Blue as well, um, has been in contact with me and a lot of other people and letting him know what's happening. And here's what happened. We didn't know how he died. Last night I said I didn't know how he died. But it said John had texted Nancy, who's his sister in Houston, saying he had some shortness of breath, which prompted her to immediately call him. He said he was not terrible and he was able to get up and move around and was going to call a cardiologist in the morning. 
I think the cardiologist was out. When Nancy didn't hear from him, she called Wednesday evening and got no answer. Thursday, I guess, she got the building manager and asked him to go check to see if John was okay. Building had the wrong keys. Oh, Jesus. So they called the cops and EMT who broke in and found him dead on the floor. Wow. Yeah. Heart attack? Uh, a, 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 no, he had a bad cold. No, but I mean, uh, Yeah, sure, of course. Well, he also had a heart condition. Oh, okay. That's why he called, tried to call the cardiologist. Um, but, uh, 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 and uh, they told Bert and Nancy uh, that it was quick and painless. At least we can, can be glad for that. You don't know that. Well, it, it could be, it could have been quick and painless, although I don't know. It could have been long how, and painful. But I, I guess he was, his body was lying in there for, for a day or so, yeah, or a day and a half. began to rot. He, well, let's not go into that, okay? That's not happy. Talk. Is there a memorial service? No, no, no. It's no memorial service. They cremated him in New Jersey and uh, spread his ashes over yeah. New York. And we are talking about maybe some kind of memorial service by people that know him. I suggested that they could use our place. Sure. You know, because we have a large place here. Uh, but I, I, I would love. I, I wish there was a funeral because I would love to go and pay my respects. So if we can pay our respects another way, I would be happy. With well, that. I think just talking about him is giving him honor. You know what's happening? Here's what happens, folks. You get bad news constantly. Well, especially as you get older. Well, here's the point I'm making: that the older you get, the more people you know die. Okay, so there are people dying around you and you're constantly going, oh my God, everybody I know is dying and whatever. And yet the good side of all of that is they're dying because you're not. You know what I'm saying? No. Because you continue to go on and get older and older and older. You know, you, you have... Um, four years, four years. 2023. Wait, now tell them about why no, four no, years. No, I'm just fuck, saying, that's fuck my... Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> Here's what happened. That's my end date. No, tell, tell, tell them how you found that no, out. No, you tell No, them. you tell them. Well, Alex and Bubbles were talking. He discovered this place online where you go and you enter a few questions. You answer a few questions. And while the two of them were talking, I went on and did it. And they said, my death date is January. You actually had the date. January something, 2020. Oh, you can't remember the day? No. Oh. 2020. Suppose I'm out of town. Well, so be it. <laughs> I'll smell yeah. up the apartment. Yeah, and so that's the... That's, that's the, my date. That's the day you're going to die. January 2023. Yeah. And the way this world is going, it's not a bad idea. Well, how is this world going? I mean, it's you know... the pot to shit. You know... Uh, 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 Trump won't be here forever. It doesn't matter. We're losing land. We're getting more desert in the United States. Yeah, the, but, the it, but you see, bumblebees here, here, are here, dying. Here, but here, food's not being yeah, made. That's fine. I mean, for you and me, because we're not going to be here. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I might live another twenty years. It could happen. My mother lived to be a hundred. I have no desire. To I live another I don't know. I, years. Well, there's part of me that doesn't ever want to die. Okay. I'm actually looking forward to I'm it. I'm afraid of that day coming. <laughs> no, I'm not. I've had g great fear. Not me. On the other hand, my mother lived to be 100. Uh, so um, uh, it, there is the possibility I could approach that, which means I've got 20 years of having to put up with this crap. Although I think only about 10 of those, because after that, you kind of are not as cognizant of things around you. Well, you'll have to get rid of all this stuff. All of this stuff? All the furniture. If they ever yeah. ask us to move, this is... I'm just leaving. <laughs> just we're, we're, with nothing. We're just going. <laughs> yeah. We start all over again. Yeah. Right? No, get a good auctioneer because that pine is worse stuff. Mm -hmm. All that pine furniture. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, because we are... Oh, by the way, you know, this mediation thing. Again. Uh, our lawyer had, uh, what is it, the 27th was going to be our mediation. So... The 27th that came and went, and he wrote us, and, well, it's been canceled again till the 28th. <laughs> of March. Of March. And he just keeps going. And maybe, maybe the judge will make some kind of decision, which may be no decision at all, you know. And the judge has had it for, what, a year? Oh, I don't know. Easily a year. 
I don't, I've lost count. All I know is I'll get a bill. It just <laughs> goes on and on and on, on. And it doesn't stop. And uh, I um, wrote our lawyer back the other day, but he never wrote me back. Well, enough. I mean, how many times do you have to go back and forth? Yeah, I guess. 1025, can I come over? No, not yet. Not yet. So, anyway. So, uh, so uh, how's work? Work is, is very busy. We're moving at the end of April, so we're doing the lease and a letter of credit and setting up accounts, and it's it's very busy. And you're moving because you actually were in a facility with another we share, company. Yeah, we were sharing an office with a company that my company invested in. It's mm -hmm. a hedge fund. They sold currency. Well, they went out of business. <laughs> And uh, we don't need 5,500 square feet for four people. So we're moving into a 3,200 square foot around the corner on Park Avenue. Oh, yeah. okay. Between 50. Is it nice? Yeah, between 54th and 55. Are you still going to be out in the front? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you're not really a receptionist, but. I'm, I'm the, the office manager. You're the office manager. And so when people. You don't have to host that many people, do you? It depends, you know, if they if they have a big meeting in the conference room, you know, they yeah, they're yeah. very active. Yeah, well, yeah, but uh, that's a great job you've got. It is. They've been so good to me. I mean, I broke my knee, and they've paid for um, car service to take you back and forth since toward. November. But the good th the thing is that in spite of your physical problems. Uh, you have um, been going to work every day. Yeah, well, they're so, paying for the car service. I don't. Have to, yeah. I can't take steps, so I can't take well, the subway. Yeah, and I can't get on a well, bus. But you're not taking the car service anymore. Well, I took it today. So Why? We'll, we'll because it was it was snowing. <laughs> well, well, wait, in other words, are they going to keep paying? For I don't that? know, but I have to take practice going in the subway. You know, I think you can go in the subway now. Well, it's hard because you, my steps, it's like I put one foot up, then I have to bring the other. Yeah, well, uh, but, you know, that's exercise. That that gets it moving. I know, but of course, it is gets so it much working. easier. Uh, okay. But anyway. Okay. Uh, uh, no, here she comes. Here she comes. It's time. No, here it's she comes. Time. I keep pushing her over. Oh, well. Really, you want to come over yes, here? I want to be with you. You want to be with me? I oh, want yeah. to be oh, you, with you. Uh, oh, yeah. You want to be with me? Uh, do you really? Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. It's here she, today. And here she is. She just showed up. I showed up. Uh, yeah. So, okay. anyway, uh, we. Uh, Put it in the middle. Well, I. Uh, well, then don't say that it's equal. What do you mean, don't say that what's equal? Why did you turn that down? Because it's that mic. Oh, okay. Hi. Don't ask questions. I just Did run things. Did you open things. it up? Did you open up the, the... I haven't opened up the Skype lines because I still have two minutes till that. You could do it now. Okay, I'll do it now for you so you can feel that it's... Happening. It's wonderful. Yeah. Anyway. Who's going to be first? Probably Richard Johansson. He's been the first every night now. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> well, he was very good last night. I missed last night. Oh, well, he was very good last night. He, why did I miss... You know, oh, I didn't go to work today. That's why. Oh, look how many people are watching. Just oh, look. boy. Do why, we start getting money? Why is that? When do we start getting money? Uh, we never get money. Uh, why? Do you think we're supposed to get money? Well, when you have so many hits, they start sending you money. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. These teenage girls that are selling makeup and the fashion ideas they're, are millionaires. Oh, ah, wait a minute. That's Charlie. Oh, Charlie's the first one coming. All right, calling. Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Wait a minute, Charlie's coming. He's 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 uh okay. There, there he is. There he there he, hey. there he is. Wait a Hi, minute. Hi, Charlie. There he is. There he is. What what? Oh, okay. <laughs> We get, get you. Yeah, there you go, hey, Charlie. Good looking. Look at that how, good looking. How guy. are you this evening, Charlie? I'm doing great. Huh? Yeah, you're it's out great. of you're out of sync actually right now. But as soon as somebody else calls, you won't be out of sync. Oh, okay. Well, I no, no, tell. you're okay. You're actually you're, you're, you're in sync now. Um, I have to I have to I have to tell a story, but I'll uh, go, I'll go wait till we have more people. No, well, it last night. Um, we were, uh, I, I went off the air and I got a note from uh, Jack, who immediately said uh, that he was having a problem. 
and his problem was uh, that he he couldn't. Uh, oh, you, you have some. You have your. You have some mom that's coming through. There. Who? Jeff. Oh, it's okay now. Now it's all right. Uh, uh, anyway, um, th that he was having a problem because all of a sudden they were telling him he can't use the Skype that he has, that he has to upgrade to Skype 8, right? And so he couldn't do a show last night. So now I go online. Oh, hey, here's Phil Meyer. I thought Phil was not going to be calling. But here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Phil Meyer. I am big bucks. From the Grand Bahamas. Are you? Yeah, I'm in the Grand Bahamas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the connection I have is, well, it's better now, but... Uh, it looks good. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. yeah. You look yeah. fine. Yeah. You look good. You're actually, the, you're the clearest picture we have here, actually. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. But anyway, okay. I uh, wasn't, uh, but, the, well, I chose the free internet. Yeah. And uh, it's one meg, I think. And uh, uh, I tried to then pay for the internet and I couldn't get off the free one. So. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Uh, anyway, I was I was trying I was trying to tell a story last night. So. Uh, uh, he says he, he forced him to upgrade to the newest version and he couldn't do the show that way, so he just ran a rerun. So I immediately went and saw if mine was doing the same thing. I closed it down, started up. Sure enough, it says uh, uh, you can't go any further unless you upgrade to 8. So I've been using a version that allowed me not to have to use 8. Uh, are you there, mm -hmm. by the way, Richard? Uh, yeah, I am, uh, but I can't see my picture. Oh, what? You don't have your camera on? I mean, on. I can't see my... Uh, yeah, we don't have a picture on you. No. I, just, I, I can see my uh, circle with my uh, me and my dead friend who just died, uh, Richard, which I used uh, as... Okay. Richard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Richard, click it off, click it back on. There you go. See, yeah, there right. you oh. go. Okay, there okay. you are. All right. Okay, let me let so, him talk. Let me continue explaining what happened last night. So, so uh, uh, sure enough, we were the the Skype we were using, which was not being stopped or intervened by Skype. Suddenly, the bastards over there found a way to do it. All right, mm. and they they. I couldn't do, so now I am just going crazy. What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? How am I going to fix it? How am I going to solve this problem? Because I, you know, I I'm not ready yet to go over and use the new Skype because I just I'm not ready. I just don't have the uh, uh, the the, uh, the 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 any of the problems solved. All right. Uh, and I tried uh, ha uh, Google Hangouts, and I was trying a whole bunch of different crap. Mm -hmm. And finally, I went to the site that I went to before that showed me how to solve the problem, right? A tech group? Uh, yeah, a tech it, it, it's, a, it, it's kind of like a tech site. It's a site for people who've got problems like me. Hi there, Mark. How are you? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me finish the story. So uh, I, I find, go there and they have a, it says updated the 28th of February, which was yesterday. And I go down to where it had me go to a, 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 a version of Skype Classic that worked. And that was the one that was no longer working. And they had put another one in there. And so I clicked on that and I downloaded that and here we are. Of course, we don't have the names under everybody like we did with the other one. That's right. But, you know, uh, here we are. Here and we are. For as long as Skype doesn't find this one out. <laughs> and it also said something else about uh, what happened was is you, every now and then you would get a notification that goes, uh, upgrade to the newest version, upgrade to the, go constantly. It was annoying. And they gave me a thing that I went to and I was able to uh, stop that from happening too. So uh, I have a fully functioning Skype right now, and I just decided. Okay. I've just decided that the people at Skype, at Microsoft, are just cruel asshole people. I mean, it's just cruel. I mean, if in fact I can use Skype right now. The old classic Skype, and it's going out and it's working because for some reason they haven't caught up with this one, or this one has been jiggered a certain way that it it 
it, it isn't affected by that, then if it works, what's the problem with allowing people to still use classic Skype? They're just so, being fucking assholes, cruel assholes. And with that, I'm so saying good night. Good night, dear. Yeah. Good night, guys. Yeah. Good night, Mark. Yeah. Enjoy your IT way. conversation. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the Grand Baham. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, they really. I mean, they're really. Can I say something? Yeah, sure. Uh, it was for Marjorie, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, Marjorie. Uh, she thought I was a little too much Richard on the previous show. Or it, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, one before yeah, that. yeah. So sorry it, to it, her. Okay, I'll pass that along to her. She just left. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, any, anyways, Richard. So, so the 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 you know, uh, I I I just don't understand why. They just don't say, hey, look, you want to use the old Skype? Fine. We think the new Skype is wonderful and you'll enjoy it and all of that. But if it still works without going to the new one, then why, ch why change it? Let, let people decide which one they want, which flavor they like. Mark, you seem to have something to say. Yeah, you Actually, look you like you were... You, you, the pictures look great. Huh? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're terrific today. Yeah, well, you know, uh, we'll just hope and... Jeff's camera? I don't see him. What? Who? Has Jeff got his camera? Yeah. Yeah, he's up in the circle Sorry. now. Uh, the five right six. up there. Oh, okay. I must have such a weak connection. I'm, I'm not seeing the camera. Well, have you got the old Skype or the new Skype? I have the new Skype. Well, then he's probably in one of the circles. He is. It just says his initials. Oh really? Oh, yeah. okay. That's well, picture, that's how well that new I, Skype I, I works. I have my name underneath my Richard Johan. Yeah. Yeah. And now I see the names. No, the the names are not uh, not there. I mean, I, I, I think if it. I if I do that, I can bring up the names. If I put my cursor over the picture, we get the names of the people here, like Mark and Kevin. Oh, and, no, that, yeah, that yeah, good. yeah. But uh, otherwise, it, we and also the pictures were separated more and so on on the other version that I have. But this is fine. I mean, I'm I, I'm happy yeah. as long as this keeps working. But I always wait for the night when I'm going to get a call from Jack or somebody else going. It doesn't work anymore, you know. Uh, so I am working. I, this, I am working hard is at a at a workaround with uh, with uh, uh, Skype eight which would t will take a little more work on my part to put together, but it, I, I, I've been playing with it on another machine, and uh, I, I can't even begin to explain what I have to do, but there's this program called NDI, I, I, oh. and, I, and I have to arrange everybody on the screen. Yeah, what, what, Phil? I don't know if it's doable. Is there a way that you can copy this Skype that's still working to a separate hard drive or something so you could reinstall it at will? Well, I no because once they decide that you can't use a particular version of Skype, they uh, just won't let you do it. You know. Okay. So I tried reinstalling last night and that again. didn't work. But then all of a sudden I go over there and there's this new version they they've got, and I so I downloaded that, I installed it, and boom, I've got uh, I've got Skype. You know. So mm -hmm. yes, J uh, Richard. Yeah. <clears throat> I, um, you just uh, lost a friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you 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 talk you, you were talking about um, going to a lot of funerals in your in your at your age. Yeah. I'm just wondering. How, uh, I've been to a lot of too, but I'm just wondering how many have you been to the last. Well, no, uh, I I I really don't go to a lot of funerals. How about you, Jeff? Uh, okay. uh, How uh, many uh, friends? So, uh, no, uh, I, I, I've had a lot of people I know or have been associated yeah. with that I hear about dying. I don't necessarily go to their funeral. You know. No, but I mean, okay, let's say, okay, how many friends? Well, well sometimes, uh, sometimes it's you, something as simple. Lost, sometimes, Richard, it's something as simple as somebody who uh, uh, is. Um, uh, it's as simple as somebody who, who who you knew on television. Like today, we lost Catherine yeah. Hellman, as an example. Yeah. Okay, okay, because okay. yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, because I've been to, let's say, I'm 40, 
Mm-hmm. You're 79, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I can count. Okay, I, I, I don't. I can count. Uh, I don't remember every. Uh, I don't remember an exact number, but probably around from 1995 to now. Yeah. Two thousand nine, two thousand nineteen. Okay, uh, all right. Good. Come on, like, come on. <laughs> maybe twenty. Maybe twenty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, maybe. Well, you know, I mean, um, uh, th- there are a lot of people who are of a certain of a certain ilk of a certain ilk who who had to involve themselves in the deaths of friends. I mean, how many uh, people in the gay community had to put up with a lot of people they knew who died when the AIDS epidemic hit? Yeah. You know. I mean that was really devastating. My, my, most of my friends, uh, I've lost, I've lost them to uh, in the nineties and the yeah. early two thousands, yeah. and up to, it yeah. was uh, to ecstasy. Yeah. Oh, ecstasy. Yeah, because ecstasy was the drug of the nineties. So. Well, ecstasy though wasn't. I tried ecstasy. That was. Yeah, but uh, that, yeah, but if you do it uh, like uh, a lot and uh, ten, uh, not that long, like. Five, six, I always heard that ecstasy, for the most part, was no, not no, no, a really it, dangerous drug. Yeah, but you tried it maybe once or twice. Well, no, but I mean, I've talked to people who used it a lot and said that they didn't know anybody that died of ecstasy, but I guess you did. Uh, uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Tony, Yeah. let's see something better than your nose. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> a little more, a little more, a little uh, more. Hi, Tony. Uh, there we go. Tony, Tony, Tony had a loss a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I can't believe so many yeah. people have passed away. Yeah. Well, no, people die all the time. That's how they flush out the planet, you know? I know. It's just, yeah, I was surprised with your friend John. I was shocked. Well, that is, John shocked me, you know, although... Was it old? Uh, although, I, it, no, I think... It, I, I think well, John... The planet. People get born, too, you know? Yeah, John was... I don't know how old John was. Uh, I think maybe approaching between 65 and 70, something like that. Uh, I would have to write somebody to find out. Yes, Jeff. He always looked pretty uh, happy. Yeah. He, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, he wasn't coughing or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. But we, so we did know he had he, a he, we did know he had a heart problem because he. Had, I know, yeah. but he. But besides that, he he looked okay all the time. Yeah. You know what I feel bad about is that he prob- probably was sitting there in the. Uh, and is lying there in his apartment dead for like two days before anybody got to him, you know. Somehow I'd like, I, you know, I just, that, that always seemed to bother me. I remember we had, uh, I had a woman I worked with at, uh, at Sirius, uh, what's her name? Uh, anybody remember the name? Yeah, now? The lady. Huh? What's her name again? Yeah, she didn't like you, remember? Yeah, she didn't like me. You got uh, a little water going on. Yeah, yeah and. Uh, oh, uh, Samuels. Lynn, Lynn Samuels. Yeah, yeah, and and she died. I think they think she died on Christmas Day, but it was a couple of days before anybody found the body, mainly because nobody really liked her enough to be her friend. <laughs> so nobody went over to. Nobody knew she was. There was a possible. The only reason they knew there was a possibility something was wrong is she was supposed to come in and do her show. I think on Christmas Day or something like that, and she didn't show up. So you know. That was it, you know. And then I had to, you know, I I had to fake grief. Uh, <laughs> you know, it was it was. It, I had to pretend like okay. Then they, they had me do a memorial on the air for her, and and that was kind of difficult until I had her sister on, right? And I said, uh, you know, I said, uh, you know. Lynn could be difficult sometimes. And she says, sometimes? Lynn was the most difficult human being I ever knew. That was her sister. And says it on the show where we're doing a memorial. I'm glad she's gone. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Richard? Yeah. I I just want to finish up uh, the thing with ecstasy and just clear it out. Yeah. You said you you tried it and uh, you did and you, you, friends of you didn't have any reactions. I did yet, on a so. couple of occasions, and I, I found oh, it to okay, be okay. a rather innocuous drug. I mean, it made you feel good. You're really happy, yeah. and everything, you want to touch everything. 
you know. Yeah, yeah. but you, uh, did you uh, try the kind of uh, ecstasy uh, that you had to drink a lot of water while you were on it? On I don't. Left? I don't remember. All I know is that oh, some okay. woman was giving it to me because she liked the fuck it, on it. Uh, okay. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good sex drug. It was but, a great drug uh, to have sex on. But it's a great dan dancing drug too, and and yeah. people get uh, dehydrated. Yeah, but I, I heard a lot of doctors say that uh, ecstasy in and of itself was not particularly a dangerous drug. No, uh, maybe no, it's true, but uh, you, it's good uh, to to blend with other other drugs as well, like speed. Yeah, and I think I blended it with potato no, chips. You got I, you know. with, with what? <laughs> Potato chips and ice cream. I think that's <laughs> no, what I blended it with. Right. That's why you're not fat. And then, yeah, and then, uh, you, then you die of being too fat. Right? So actually, my, my friends just... Uh, uh, so, uh, I, I want, I, yeah, I want Phil to tell his story. Phil is if Phil is in the oh. if Phil is in oh, the Bahamas yeah. because he's getting ready to go swim with sharks and and we certainly oh, okay, okay. we we feel yeah. sorry for the sharks. Oh yeah, uh, yeah you're yeah, all going to yeah, yeah yeah let me talk Richard please. Uh, and and uh, he's he's going to go swim with sharks. And are these dangerous sharks by the way? I mean not all sharks are particularly dangerous. Oh no, these are tiger sharks. And is that oh. good or bad? I don't know. Uh, the only uh, higher on the apex scale is the great white. Oh, okay. So this one, these could could nibble at your toes, pretty much. This is not. This is not yeah, you, know. you, you probably yeah. what you should have done is just not get your prostate operation. Just go down there, go swim with the sharks, and hope some of them eat it. Thank uh, you. Know. <laughs> That'd be, yeah. uh, but, uh, Piero, well, well, it, Richard, shark, Richard, please. Tiger please Richard. I just want to ask about tiger shark. Isn't like isn't tiger sharks uh, uh, very aggressive? Uh, they can be, uh, oh. although these are very accustomed to divers because okay. this charter goes out there every week uh, yeah. with with divers. Yeah, they chop the sharks, they feed the sharks, and oh, so uh, the sharks know when the yeah. divers show up, they're going to get fed. Yeah, especially and, uh, when the divers are in the water, then they're really going to get fed. <laughs> You're in a cage, right? Yeah. Aren't you in a cage, Phil? No, he's no, not in a cage. Career. No cage. Oh, not cage. No cage. Oh, this sounds so wrong. I'm not even going to ask you how much money this is costing. How much money this is costing you? Trip. The the trip, uh, the dive trip was five grand. Mm -hmm. It was uh, about eight hundred and something for the airplane. Mm -hmm. uh, about five hundred for two nights hotel room uh, mm -hmm. tonight and uh, the night I come back. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, probably three or four hundred dollars tip, uh, plus you know incidentals. Uh, I'll probably have ten grand into this. Oh, really? Just so you can get eaten by a shark, huh? Yeah. What were you, what were you gonna say? Shark bait? What were you gonna say, Kevin? What? Ten grand would be shark bait. I plan, huh? yeah. some, I plan on getting some monumental epic pictures, uh, you know, and uh, they're gonna have to last me for a while. I'm gonna get some mileage out of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, have them on your memorial. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Or, yes. Or right, yes, or Richard. Fair. Yeah, for Phil. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, 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 uh, you, uh, taking pictures. That's your hobby or something. I've seen you yeah, have one a, of them. Yeah, you. Ha I've seen um, when you call uh, be behind you have lenses and uh, different lin lenses and things. So yeah. you, you're quite oh, yeah. into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. You know, I uh, like anything else. Uh, it's it's a hobby and it's and it's mm. expensive one. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I, at least I don't play golf. I mean, that's <laughs> you know, no, I that think can it's cost. fine. I just saw because I have a I have a camera which I use for my artwork, but it's not like you have uh, much more equipment than I have. So <clears throat> I could yeah, tell. Yeah, well, Mark. Mark is a great photographer. I've seen his work. I, I, yeah. I follow him on uh, Instagram uh, yes. and Twitter, and yeah. uh, you know, he's he does a lot of wildlife and. Uh, documents uh, a lot of uh, Florida Everglades. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I really enjoy seeing his stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, 
It reminds me of the Jake. And also, Wait a minute. Alex is, what? Alex is a great photographer, too. Alex, Alex. is a great photographer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, Mark. It reminds me of the really bad old joke. Why don't uh, sharks get eaten by lawyers? <laughs> Why? Why is it professional courtesy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope there's a lawyer diving with your group. Uh, well, uh, you know why they don't eat scuba divers? The tanks give them gas. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. So I had quite an experience last night. Yes, tell them uh, about this. This is uh, you wrote wrote me about it, and I went, "Oh, what a great I, way!" Was, what a, I was busy i was kind of busy uh i went to the bank i got some cash uh and i was driving back to my mm -hmm. apartment yeah. and uh i needed to take some things out of the car because i had a lot of gear to put in there this morning so i grabbed my coat i grabbed uh, some other stuff and i got up to the apartment and i didn't have my wallet no license no credit cards, no debit card, $500 in cash, gone. Couldn't find it. Two hours, I looked, I was frantic. You know, luckily, I had two uh, charge cards in my safe and $200 in cash. So, I, and my passport and my diver's certificate was in uh, the apartment. So, I figured, all right, I'll just cancel all my cards that were in the wallet, mm -hmm. so I canceled them all, and Faye, my girlfriend, goes down to the car one more time mm -hmm. and finds the wallet in the pocket of the passenger door. Uh, yeah. and, and But I had already canceled all the cards, and I spent two, two and a half hours frantically looking for this, tearing apart everything in the world, and there it was. Uh, in the car, and I had missed it. I must have searched the car four times, and I missed it every time. Do you know what happened so, to me uh, today? To me today, that was kind of similar to that in a way. We're leaving to go out to have some lunch up the street, and as I'm leaving yeah. the apartment, I went, "Oh, I don't have my glasses." And I was looking at Marjorie, yeah. and I said, "I got to go find my glasses." I go looking, I can't find my glasses anywhere. So finally, I go get a second pair that I have, and I take it with me. And all of a sudden, I'm I realize I'm wearing the glasses on your head, right? <laughs> and Marjorie yeah. goes, "How yeah. dumb is that that you didn't know you were wearing your glasses?" I said, "How dumb is it that I told you I was going to go look for my glasses and you didn't notice they were on my face?" How much well, did you guys have to smoke? <laughs> she had something to smoke before we left. I didn't. But yeah. anyway, so no, so as so, was... so everything turned out all right, except you got to go back now and and uh, uh, do stuff about your credit cards, getting them back. I, well, I did. All, I canceled all the cards that were in the wallet, and I also canceled the ATM card. Uh, you know, but it wouldn't have mattered. It was after five. The bank was closed. I couldn't get any more cash. I have uh, $200 in $2 bills that I use when I go on trips to tip the, you know, the doorman or the guy that runs the shuttle bus and stuff like that. I give them a $2 bill or two $2 bills. People like $2 bills. And so I use them as tips. So I figured, all right, uh, this trip, I'd just be spending $2 bills, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But luckily, found the wallet. The 500 was in there. Okay, so what do you do about your ATM card, though? Uh, well, I'm getting all new cards. So sometime yeah. in the next week, uh, new cards will arrive at my uh, apartment uh, mailbox. I, I would have waited uh, a day or something. Wait. You know, I, I, but well, you I could. You cancel them real fast. 7 a.m. flight. Yeah, yeah. because I, uh, I had a 7 a.m. flight, uh, and uh, I needed to go to sleep by 9 at the latest because I had to get up at 3. And uh, so, you know, I figured, all right, you know, there's nothing I can do. If I would have waited another half hour, life would have been fine. But, uh, you know, uh, it was also figuring out, who, which cards were in there, and you know how do you call them? Luckily, yeah. I have bill pay on my computer, so I could look and see what cards I had. Yeah, and yeah, you know, uh, 
because I do it all automatically. I couldn't even, you know, I know this one gets me miles, that one gets me rebate, you know, <laughs> but yeah. uh, Jesus Christ. Well, you're uh, the cop I'd want to search. Uh, you're the cop I'd want searching my car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oops, I forgot the door. Uh, yes. I want to say something. Yes, we here. take the door panels uh, off a lot of times. Richard? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> Phil, just a uh, thing uh, before you... Uh, are you leaving uh, like the show uh, to, in a minute or so? Or are you going to be in no. the whole show? No, oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, we okay. can't get on the boat until tomorrow at 5 o'clock uh, oh. this time. So okay, we're I just going to meet at noon, have lunch. Okay, and, I just uh, want to then... say, uh, it's just, uh, you've probably seen the sketch uh, with Rowan Atkinson uh, being uh, being Toby the Devil. Have you? All of you maybe. Have, have you seen it? No, but we have a full oh. house. Full house? Yeah. <laughs> A full house. Okay. Thanks to Patrick, by the way. Hello, Patrick. Hi. No, I haven't seen that sketch, Richard. No, uh, does, he includes uh, Trump and the Americans in it, uh, in hell, coming to hell. Um, you know, so the, reserving a big space. And he says, uh, the Americans, and they come up and say, oh, uh, please just go away a little bit because we have a big space reserving for uh, Mr. Trump. And, yeah, everybody goes. Back. Okay. And I don't want to. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, hello, Patrick. How you been? I've been dandy. You wrote me and said you had lots of people coming to visit you to the point where you wish they'd all leave. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you saw that. Yeah, weird. All of the last several weeks, you notice I've only been on maybe once a week because I had friends. Oh, wait, and hold, hold on a second. Uh, Phil? Phil? I don't think it's yeah, Phil. I was it's trying Tony. to turn the air conditioner off. Yeah, because it, what it, was it, happening is it's, 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 it, it's, it's, unfortunately, I think Patrick has his automatic voice thing on, and it's suppressing oh, him whenever okay. you have sounds. I plugged it. I couldn't, there was a red button on it. I pushed it. It didn't do anything, so I just unplugged it. Okay. Anyway, what were you saying, Patrick? Um, anyway, um... I, you know, I've only been on here maybe once a week the last several weeks because I've had friends coming on, and it's like they know that I'm like terminally ill or something, and I don't. So they're coming to visit more than they have for the last, you know, several months. I just think it has to do with the weather more than anything that they're bored and coming over. So I, I don't mind it, but, but that's what I. But but you're wondering if they know something you don't is what you're saying. What that? That you they know something you don't. Well, that that that's what I was thinking, kind of jokingly. Yeah. Like somebody told them that I'm gonna die, so they want to get their time in with me. Yeah. Before, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Uh, Anyway, uh, and and Jason, how are you doing? We hear from you every couple of weeks when your wife lets you let you off the leash. I'm doing just working, keeping at it. Yeah, just doing the family thing, and you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you sound like your life's exciting. <laughs> yeah, real exciting. Living the American dream, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, Two point three kids and a three quarters of a dog or whatever the average is yeah you only have one kid right or, yeah 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 you get playing on having more oh no man as soon as he was born i got snipped oh wow. oh, oh really <laughs> oh I, I i don't want to upset anybody but the water is 80 degrees here yeah <laughs> everybody everybody he he can see you everybody but where, where is here, Patrick? Where is here? What? Uh, where is here? Uh, Wisconsin. Where, do, where does he live? Since since the water is eight degrees. Oh, oh. No, no, no. That's with Phil Meyer. Oh, uh, somebody said the water is eight degrees here. Eighty degrees. Eighty. Eighty. Oh, that was Phil. Yeah. yeah oh, I'm in eight, Grand eight. Bahama. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I thought Patrick said and something. Patrick, eight, eight. It's three degrees. He's well, in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's three. 
it's probably close to 40 degrees in the water. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty normal this time of year. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Jason. So I, I just like it's been recent that I was listening to these shows because I'm like a week or two behind when you guys are talking about how cold it was. Yeah. I was working outside in those when minus 40, minus 60 degree temperatures, you know, on my ladder <laughs> up 20 feet in the air. Really, really, really sucked. <laughs> really? And they don't yeah. tell you, hey, today we're not going to go out and do this? You know, the, the funniest thing was the day before, my boss is like, we're like the post office. We work in blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the post office didn't deliver mail that day because yeah, it was too, to too cold. Yeah. Yeah, whatever happened but to that? Neither so rain, right. rain nor sleet nor dead of night that will stop the postal man from his duly appointed rounds. Because I know that there are some days they just don't go out. Uh, right, yeah. Right close, we used to go to the bar. Uh -huh. What? Well, they did do that. We they had a postman that used to go to the bar by my house. He would drink. His nose would be red when he would deliver. <laughs> my mother said he drinks. His nose is all red. He did. Yeah. And Kevin, swear, Kevin was. And he still delivered the mail. Though. That was like his lunch. I think he had a liquid lunch. Kevin? Yeah, they did They did have him stay in a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And my wife used to work for FedEx, and, and she said that uh, the uh, the president was going to appoint the head of OSHA. And she was surprised about that. I guess she told me that a couple days ago. Yeah. They were going to appoint the head of OSHA was was the head of FedEx ground, I believe. And he was a he was uh, they were they were <laughs> all over him because he was sending his guys out in the snow and the in that minus forty degree weather, mm -hmm. and one of the guys was out there hooking up a set of doubles, and he banged his head against the side of a trailer, and they didn't find him for two days. Wow, he was out there in the snow, and, and I guess he banged his head against the back of the trailer, mm -hmm. and they didn't find him for two freaking days. And he still was sending people out there in the snow. Patrick? Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, I had heard about, I didn't know it was FedEx, but I had heard about that. And um, in my area, we didn't have mail for three days. Yeah. Day, hmm. The post office just shut down because, you know, it's minus 20, minus 30 degrees out. And they didn't want people walking. And the, the worst ones are the small little trucks that have to, you know, drive from mailbox to mailbox on the country road that aren't plowed because you can't plow ice anymore after it snows and it freezes. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was yeah, it was the first time that I remember not getting mail that it wasn't a holiday. Yeah. So, where, do you, where do where do you live, Patrick? It, it only salt only works down to so cold. Yeah, it's you know, only when you so get, much. Yeah, when you get like minus five salt and even the uh, calcium chloride or what or no, the potassium chloride doesn't do anything. Yeah. Only so much for traction anyway, isn't it? What, what uh, Richard wants to know where Patrick. Yeah, I, I, I just want to know uh, uh, where does Patrick live? Or Andy and those guys who had a living in a cold area. Patrick. I live in Wisconsin. It's Wisconsin. Been, yeah, it's and, in the Midwest of the United States. Yeah, yeah okay. And uh, uh, I can't remember the night you, the guy with the red sweater. Uh, Michigan. Did, yeah. And, and it's, there was a lot of yeah. Okay. It's cold there. It was today. It was it was one of those days where the temperature wasn't that cold. It was like thirty four, but for some colder, reason it felt colder. colder than and, Norway. It colder felt than? colder than I don't that. Think anything's colder than Norway. Anything sort of Norway. Okay. <laughs> nothing. Nothing is cold. Well, what's what's the current temperature in Norway right now? Uh, uh, well, it depends on where we are in Norway. But in my area, which is uh, on the tip of Norway, south, southern tip of Norway, it's uh, uh, it's uh, probably around. Well, it's four in the morning, so it's like. Let's. I, I'm. I'm talking Celsius. Uh, yeah, let's say four degrees Celsius, but it's going to rise up to like <laughs> four degrees that's Celsius. Freezing. That's, that's freaking that's about freezing. forty degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. Eight plus. Think, right? 42. Yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's four in the morning, so it's going to rise uh, when the day arrives. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is? Wait a minute. What is four degrees up. Celsius? Does anybody know? Four. I think it's around four. forty. 
Well, eight, eight, eight plus yeah. 32, oh. so it's 40 degrees. Oh, so it, oh, it's, it's warmer where you are in Norway oh. right now at oh, 4 no, o'clock no, no, in the morning than no, no, it is no, no, here. No, no, no. 39.2 no, no, no. degrees. Four, 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 four degrees. Four Celsius. Oh, four degrees Celsius? 39.2. Yeah. But we're talking about, what would that be Fahrenheit? Yeah, 39.2. 39.2. Okay, so it's warmer right now where he is in Norway than it is here in New York City. How, 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 what's the temperature in New York City? Then? 34 degrees. I'm looking at my watch, right, Mickey? Fahrenheit. And mine was 4 oh, degrees five. Celsius. Good 1 night, degree Hal. Celsius, which is 40. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, but Patrick, Patrick. And it's going to run. Patrick. What we have to do is specify in the United States, it's all Fahrenheit versus Celsius everywhere else in the world. So when... We're when not a metric. Cape Cod talking minus 30 degrees, it's 30 degrees, minus 30 degrees, Fahrenheit, which is really, I, I, don't, I wouldn't know what that That's would be. minus 32 Celsius, I think. I, I just bought a thermometer down at uh, CVS, which has, you can have it, do it either in Fahrenheit or Celsius now. Uh, zero Celsius is equal to 32 Fahrenheit. Okay. Yeah. So if zero. it's, it, yeah. Yeah, zero. Doesn't that all make more sense than 32 degrees being freezing? Shouldn't zero be freezing? Then you could, you know. That's why they made the Celsius system. Yeah. That's why they made Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the temperature right now? Uh, we, it, what, what's the temperature in uh, the Bahamas? What's the temperature in Florida, Mark? Uh, uh, it's somewhere uh, around 80-something degrees but I was in Florida this afternoon, and it was beautiful in Miami. I mean, the sky was gorgeous. Uh, I had to walk outside to get onto the jet, mm -hmm. and it was just a magnificent outside. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Outside the terminal. How, how about Mark? How, how what's the temp? What, what's the weather like with you down there? You're in. Uh, you're um, where? You're in. in Naples. You're in Naples. I'm looking it up right now. Seventy-three. 73 right. degrees. Fuck all of you. That really. 69 in Arizona. Because right Jeff and I are freezing our asses off right now. And it's even, it's and it's what? In 27. I'm next year I'm going to spend uh, I don't know, 3 months what? in 28. Okay, 28 degrees where Jason is. God. Oh, uh, I'm freezing my ass off too. Yeah, but you're oh, free. You're oh, not freezing your ass off like we are, and you're in fucking Norway. Yeah, and look who's yeah. wearing a tank top. Oh. Yeah, look who's wearing Freeport, a tank top. Exactly. What is that? It says, "Look who's wearing a tank shirt, top." Tank top. In Freeport yeah, yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's why. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Seventy-four but, uh, degrees. I'm indoors, so. Yeah. In Freeport, Nassau, it's seventy-four degrees. Uh, but it's, you know, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> no, that's, that's for Phil. Me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. Well. Yeah. Wow. Uh, how far do you have to go out to see the sharks? Uh, we're going to go pretty far. The, the, we won't be anywhere near land. And, uh, uh, there, there's a place called Tiger Beach. If, if you go onto a website called blueiguanacharters.com mm -hmm. and then go to the bottom of the site and click on Tiger Beach, you'll see what I'm doing. Blueiguanacharters.com. Well, if this, if this is the last we hear from you, because you either <laughs> drown or are eaten by a shark, uh, what are you leaving me? Well, I sent you a rug. <laughs> yeah, and it's now sitting oh, yeah. over uh, on the other desk here where Marjorie is. She likes the rug. Yeah, well, if you rub it, it'll grow. <laughs> really? Ah, uh, Phil? Phil? Yeah. Phil? Yeah. Yes. Uh, have you ever tried uh, diving uh, for sharks or, so, or, so, or that kind of thing uh, down yeah. in Southeast Asia? No, I did in Australia. Uh, oh, Australia, okay. The, uh, the Coral Sea. I uh, uh, dove with... What? Uh, uh, sorry. Day. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, my that wife, that coral, wife. that coral, the 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 largest huh? reef. What is it? What's the largest reef in the world? The uh, uh, it's the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is dying. Yeah. yeah. Well, parts of it are. I thought it was already and, dead. Uh, yeah, but there's no such thing as as uh, 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 Richard. 
Ooh. Richard, Richard, when you're talking oh, to somebody, yeah. uh, Richard, when you're talking to oh, somebody can, else, yeah. kill your mic my when mom. you're talking to somebody else. Sorry, Just my mute, wife. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Mute yourself. Yeah. Mute. Uh, the, I dove in the Great Barrier Reef in 2003. Yeah. And I'll dive there again, and I'll be able to see what the difference was. I took thousands of pictures when I uh, when I dove there, uh, so I'll be able to compare. Uh, with um, uh, what was in 2003, which, which with, you know, the way it is today, or at least yeah. next year, probably. Well, Marjorie went and dove uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, 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 <laughs> Belize. Belize, down to the reefs, reefs there, and she said they were just all bleached. They were dead. Yeah, they were. I, they I've were. I've never been to Belize, but uh, I understand there's a place called the Blue Hole, which is supposed to be great diving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you ever been down south? You, you have a wife from the Philippines, don't you, Phil? Yes. It's not a have wife. You, it's 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 a woman he's been engaged to for the last twenty years. Well, I've never been to the Philippines, oh. uh, and um, uh, uh -huh. she she's not wild about going back. But oh, I'll, so I'll, you did, so you didn't meet her down there. No, no, I met her in Walnut Creek <laughs> in okay, California. I'll, I'll, in exotic I'll, I'll, Walnut Creek. <laughs> Can't meet her in the catalog. Yeah. What would you say, uh, uh, Jason? Actually, no. disco tech. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, I, I've been, uh, I got a wife from uh, born in Bangkok, so it's close. And uh, I went to the, I've been to the Philippines twice, and I have a tattoo from the Manila. Wherever she's, yeah. where, where, where she's from, in the. She grew uh, up in Manila. In Manila. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. She came here when she was sixteen. Oh. Or 17, something like that. And when did okay. you meet her? What? How old was she when you met her? 37. Oh, okay. <laughs> how, how, long, how, how long have you been living together then? Uh, 13 years. Okay. We be, okay. Almost the same as my uh, 14, me and uh, my Yeah. Girl. Well, I was married to my last wife for 23 years, and it's really okay. hard to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Are you married? Well, you at, at your uh, age, you probably won't have to. Oh, you know, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Marjorie Maybe. and I. How Marjorie and I have been married now? Uh, petit petit, I think was. Uh, I got to get I, this right, or she's going to kill me. Uh, <laughs> I think we've been married almost eight years Ten. now. Yeah. yeah. How old is Marjorie? How, how, old, how old is Marjorie? Twenty-nine. 29. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not answering that question, Richard. That's a loaded fucking question. <laughs> I know, but she, she looks uh, great. For Twenty her. That's <laughs> that's because so. we we put the lens slightly out of focus while she's here. So, oh, really? Yeah, oh, really? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, hey, so Alex, yes. is that your longest marriage yet, or no? This one, uh, <laughs> well. No, I think my marriage to Ronnie was longer, and the only reason why it was longer was because we took a long time before we got divorced. We were separated in uh, after being married for God. How long were we married? I'm trying to remember now. Maybe we were married ten years, uh, but uh, I think I think it was only realistically about four or five, something like that. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember. These these things start f getting. Fi I'll ask her next time I talk to her. You know, but you you, you two go far 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 back, don't you? Uh, who? My you wife. You, know? you and Ronnie. Danny. Ronnie. Oh yeah. Well, of course we go back. You, uh, you knew her from like. I married uh, her in. I married her in. Well, when I first went to Houston, Texas, I'm telling you, that was like. Um, yeah, that was sixty six, maybe sixty seven. Yeah, 66. and then we got the, we got divorced in in seventy seven, but we were apart for a while before that. So, I figure we were married maybe five six years. You know, did you have contact in uh, afterwards? Uh, no, she was very mad at me for a long yeah. time, and and but, uh, and, uh, and you're she, good it, friends now because uh, it, you call uh, it, she, she it, yeah yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 we became we, we became friends again, and that's nice. Later on, you know, that's later. that's a nice thing that you make peace very with nice each thing. other. Very nice yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's because I'm a terrific guy. Uh, <laughs> yes, Jeff. When you when you were in Miami, uh -huh. working in Miami, for, I think it was for what two weeks, something like. No, that? it was three months. 
<laughs> I wish it had been two weeks, but it was three months. Yeah. I was there at the same time. Were you really? Were you living there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was. Do you, you didn't hear me on the air, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, you I did? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, what, 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 did, what, what did you think? I thought you were good. I thought you were good. You know, they had that one guy who was somewhat the manager or whatever it was, and, and he almost had that job for you. Before you came. And I think when you left, he took the job back again. I'm trying to think of who, what you're talking oh, about. Oh, you replaced somebody for a minute, didn't you? Uh, they were well, what's his name? Fired. What's his name? The uh, yeah. uh, I'm trying to remember his name now. God. I can't think of his name myself. Um, but I can't remember names to save my life, especially I today. Know, After I, I, I got a better excuse. When I took... When I took I uh, I had to. I had to take. Uh, I had to take Xanax. Hey, Richard, please, Richard, 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 mute, mute, mute your microphone if you're going to talk to somebody. Mute your microphone when you're talking to somebody else. Okay. I. I talk to me. Yeah. 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 I. I. I muted. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, I did. Yeah. I, I, okay, I I, 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 he muted the speaker. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I muted the wrong thing. Okay. No, I'm muted. Yeah. Now you can't hear me, right? No, I can no, hear you can, now. Just fine. Now you can hear me. Now you can. No, no I can. We can hear you all the time. There's a you microphone. If if you go down, yeah. Yeah. if you go down to the bottom, if you it, all these things come up and one of them happens to be a microphone, just click yeah, but, on that. Yeah, but I just listen. Now you can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Now you can don't hear me. Yes. No, yeah. we can hear now you. No, we yep. never changed. We hear heard you. you the whole time. Hey Richard, see I'm talking talking and now I'm talking again because I hit mute. I'm not talking, now I'm talking. Okay. At the bottom of Skype there's a few circles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, click can you on hear me the now? microphone and it puts right. Yeah. Okay. No, we still hear you. We still hear you. <laughs> This, one. this this is yeah, rock. Still here, is know. that a joint? <laughs> is that a joint, joint he's got? Is that yeah. a joint he's got there? Was that a joint, Richard? Uh, now, we can hear hear Richard. now we can't he hear us. I don't know. Anyway, where are we? Uh, <laughs> he's killed me on the speakers. <laughs> uh, no, now no, you can hear me again. Yeah, I can hear you again. We can yeah. hear you the whole time. Yeah. Oh, I muted all, uh, all the ones. Okay, all, well, let's uh, not. Let's if, let's if, not. If you were muted, we'd see a little mute button uh, uh, at, uh, underneath you. See, uh, see on um, uh, Jason. Uh, you see is uh, that little mute microphone button? I don't see. Yeah, same thing with Charles. And when you look at his thing, you see a little circle oh, with a. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So. And that is the same button that's at the bottom of your Skype. You just have to put your cursor over it. There, there are four buttons usually at the bottom. I don't yeah. know about yours. Is it? Well, he turned uh, off his. Uh, there, you yeah. turned off your camera. He off your camera. You want to turn and off the picture of the microphone. Look, let's not do this all night, okay? Uh, we have other things. Well, it's, uh, Skype 101. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't mean anything to the people listening. Yes, Patrick. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to say? Is the button probably right next to the. Um, the I, yeah. It's Thanks, a good question. You've got a red one, you've got the video, and then you've got another button. The other button that looks like a microphone, that's the one you hit to mute. Right. See? It's, uh, in fact, well, it's. Three of them, right in the bottom and the middle. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Uh, rocket science. Yeah, there's uh, a camera, a microphone. All right, all right, all right. Enough, 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 enough. <laughs> yeah. All right. This does there not make go. good. This it. does not make for. Found it. Yep. Does yeah. not That's make it. for good programming. Okay. Hey, what did uh, they do I'm... last night on the uh, ramble? Well, they spent five minutes looking for the mute <laughs> button. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Patrick. When these things happen, you get more listeners. Uh, not really. Um, yeah. Patrick, I just found this. 
Oh, no, you, uh, obviously. Yeah, did. You found yeah, it. Uh, yeah, okay. You found it. Yeah, thank it, you for the Alex. I, I found it. Okay, yeah. all right. Let's just get on with the program. We know you found it. Yes, Patrick. Like no, take Patrick. Us. You know, the people who take oh, us, God. they say they found it. <laughs> Earhart seminar training. Yeah, right. Uh, Patrick, yes. I was just saying that now, so we're good. And now every time after this, it'll be fine. So the five minutes we spent doing that, an investment into the future. Think of it that way. Yeah, well, I spent right. three hours last night after the show just trying to get Skype so it would work. Uh, you know, I was looking for every other possible work. answer. You know, one of them was Google uh, Hangouts, but that uh, I don't get a good picture with that. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, well, at least you didn't spend two and a half hours looking for your wallet the night before you're leaving. Oh, here we go with the fucking and wallet then, again. You found the wallet. It's in his car. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's see here. What else? What, what's happening? Well, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who did that? Who did that? Uh, let's see. Who do we got? That is... I don't know. Somebody hit that heart, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody... Uh, some... Richard found another yeah. button. <laughs> yeah. I, sir, but, Richard, it, oh boy! Richard Don't found the sheriff. Don't ever hit the heart. Did you, uh, uh, you, wait a minute. Uh, uh, you, uh, you didn't hit anything, did you, uh, uh, Jeff? No. Would you Not do me Jeff. a favor, Richard? Hang up. Hang up. And then yeah. call back. Hang up hang and up call, call back. back. Yeah. You know what? Okay. Ha gonna... Hang up and kill Scott. Uh, there we go. That was him. <laughs> that was him. Oh, jeez, Almighty! <laughs> Somebody kill me! <laughs> you know, this is this is what I especially hate about uh, uh, Skype Eight is that anybody here could fuck up the whole picture. So yeah. is everything right on your guys' side? Because all I see now is a large picture of Charlie Wallace. Yeah, me too. I see. Everybody. You just gotta drag him down. Just... I see everybody. Just... Charlie, Fact as hell, man. I mean, <laughs> oh boy. And these people over these people over at Microsoft really thought they had a great idea. Yes, Patrick, what are you saying? Oh, I said I better keep my hands above the table after saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Jeff made that mistake last week, and Never this again. and tonight it was it was uh, it, it was uh, it was uh, Richard. Uh, Richard. But yeah. anyway. Uh, while he's gone, we can talk. Uh, is he is he new or yeah? Because yeah. I'm like a week or two behind, so uh, he's a, he's a fill in for you. <laughs> yeah, since you're only know. calling once in a while. <laughs> well, I, oh, there we go. I answered. There we go. There he is. He's right. back again. Ba you did a bad thing, Richard. <laughs> Don't touch. Don't hit okay, the button okay, on the right okay. side. Uh, I'm not touching anything. Well, wait a minute. Turn on your camera. Yeah. Oh, there we don't go. Don't go through that. Yeah, yeah. But don't hit, don't hit that thing that says share. What does it say? Share on there? No, just don't uh, hit the buttons on the right side. Just uh, the ones in the middle. I, don't hit the I ones on the I right. I think I just hit a, I just hit a button. Right. Yeah, you did. You did. Don't anything else. You did, and that is the a terrible. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's. I hit it. I hit it. All right. right. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I just like to do a show here. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's no internet on the boat, so uh, you, you won't have to worry about Phil. Two more people joined the program because it was going back. We lost his picture again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, I can see that. I don't, oh, yeah, right, yeah. Uh, it's coming now. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. All right. My camera. All right. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> God, somebody kill me. <laughs> Well, have you ever recommended that he call Damien or uh, or uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ? Uh, why can't I get up my face? Well, at least you can hear me. Well, well how how, uh, uh, how come your your picture keeps coming up like that? Uh, I don't know. Um, see where there's a picture I... of a camera? Huh? You see where there's a picture of a camera? A little circle with a video. I see camera. all the circles. I see uh, everybody. No, 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 no. At the bottom, at the bottom. Oh, God. Face. 
Hey, call. listen, Richard, let's call it quits for tonight, okay? Because uh, well, you, you just I seem to be having too much trouble, okay? And we'll try it again next week, all right? Uh, boy, oh, God. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Everybody's got to learn. You know, in that Norway, it's socialized, you know. You know they, oh, they know, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh God! Somebody kill me! Somebody there's, kill there's me! There's always somebody there to do it for them. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the government will do it yeah. for them. Well, anyway, we have some time here. Um, um, uh, it, how do you think things are going for Trump? Yeah. <laughs> it's a party. I haven't heard, Mark. Have you been following this whole thing? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, and. and? Oh boy, bread and circuses, bread and circuses. I'm loving it. Yeah. I, but it's like, again, no one is doing what should be done based on. It's still a cluster fuck, which. Uh, and well, I'm like, okay, so when is our elected officials going to do something about this? It's a witch hunt. Oh, no, it's not a witch hunt. Yeah, you know, nobody's doing their job. Uh oh, Phil's back again. Phil's back again. We thought we didn't have him for two weeks. Oh, surprise. Uh, well, you, 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 I'll be, uh, I'm most likely you'll be gone. I don't think there's any internet on the boat. Richard, I to uh, Richard job. is calling back, and I don't want to take him. Uh, I may have to block him for the time being. In fact, let me, let me do that. Uh,. Let me I say, see. was tonight his first night, or has he called in? No, he's no, he's we, called before. No. I'll, I'll unblock him after the show, but, you know, it, it's too much trouble right now with him trying to learn everything on that, you know. <sighs> he should uh, do the Skype test call. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. that English yeah, Don't stop, Phil. Me. Stop. No more. <laughs> no more with that. In fact, stop with Trump. Let Mark tell us. Mark? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you're saying that it's bread and circuses. Right now and, it is. And you're so, saying that nobody's doing their job. What should they be doing? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm we'll put it to you this way. Uh, there's still the matter of the tax, his taxes. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't divert, diversed himself of his private businesses, apparently. So right there, gee, that's just the start of a long shopping list. And um, impeach the motherfucker. Well, I'm waiting. You know, it's <laughs> come on. Well, I mean, I'm I've never been a big fan of impeachment. Okay, because I, I I it takes a lot to impeach somebody, and it takes a while. And by the time that while is over, we're going to have another election coming. Uh, you know, I mean, I I just think that the man's a criminal. And he always has been, and he always will be. And he doesn't know how to operate any other way. Yeah. And that's what I we're dealing with. You know, we're dealing with some somebody who, yes, he's different than anybody else who's ever been president. He's, yeah, he's a real maverick. He's a criminal. He's a fucking mobster. But if there's proof that there is actual criminal action center yeah. you have to do the go through with the impeachment i don't care he's if it takes too it. long yeah but it's going to take too long and i it, think he's, but, that, but that, that's a compound you, you shouldn't do that you should go through with the impeachment put that stain on his name well they're going to wait for it the election and if he gets in again they may do that it impeachment is, have it all yeah. ready to go the Mueller but if report he gets out, it comes out they'll walk him out gonna be, yeah. uh, uh, yes uh, uh patrick okay the impeachment thing is used to, too long. If he's doing illegal stuff, mm -hmm. I would say just like what we said, wait if he gets reelected and then go through the impeachment. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't and it's illegal stuff, then they can take legal action against him immediately after his term is finished. Right. And then he goes to court. And that is more of what you guys want to see anyway for him to go to jail or something like that, and that's the way to do it. Or if he does get reelected, then you can put that stain on his name starting immediately in his second term, 
because it's going to take two years for anything to happen, and there's only two years left. And and most likely the next president that gets elected will not pardon him. Right. Wait, wait, let Tony let Tony talk. Tony. Well, you know what I think how it can play out, Alex? I think it can play out that behind closed doors, he's not gonna run again. He's gonna just somehow walk away. Well, I agree with uh, Tony. Uh, and that might be the right thing to do. But he he knows, well, I'll tell you something. I was saying to Marjorie tonight that the worst thing that ever happened to Donald Trump was becoming president of the United yeah. States. Yeah. And that's because he had so many illicit dealings in order to survive over the years. B- 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 things like uh, lying to Deutsche Bank about how much he was worth and things like that. Things which are literally um, prosecutable. That uh, these things wouldn't maybe have come to light if he hadn't become president, and everybody put a yeah, put a spotlight would. on him. Yeah. And yeah. and I think that what's going to happen is that even he has to remain president because the only that's the only way the Southern District of New York isn't going to just lower the boom down on this guy for all his skeezy dealings over the years. Yes, There's Charlie. So yes, drama. Charlie. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. He's even gonna finish this term because they're gonna go after Ivanka and Jared and and uh, Trump Jr. and all that because they've all done illegal things and they are not president. And so they're gonna threaten to throw them in prison, and and Trump's gonna step down. It could That's be. You know, wait a minute. Next was Phil and then Patrick. Yes, Phil. Uh, I think there's uh, been a little too much drama, and he's not going to be able to carry the vote that he had carried in the past. Uh, The the crossovers that went for him, they may stay home and not vote at all, but they may not vote for him. Uh, So I I just uh, I think that there's been enough damage that uh you know he's damaged goods at this point i like what he does but he's damaged goods yeah, yes. and uh, i don't i don't see him getting uh reelected patrick um in front of ivanka and all of them wouldn't he wouldn't it make sense for him to stay in office let them go to jail and then pardon them when he's on his way out it wouldn't he, would never, he would never let them go to jail he pardoned that uh, sheriff in Arizona yeah. uh, right right off the bat. Sheriff Joe, yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess my point is I don't see him I don't see him leaving office until his term is up. And well, that, that's it. The problem is they've done state crimes and he can't pardon them for state crimes. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. He can only state of New York. He can only pardon federal state crimes. Of New York. Uh, and it, the fact is that the Southern District here in New York is very famous for going after uh, yeah. a financial fraud, uh, basically because what's their home territory? Wall Street, okay? They're good at it. <laughs> and, and they're very good at it. And they are just getting a whole amount, just a pile of evidence against Donald Trump. And they're just, they're waiting for the right moment. You know, they're also waiting to get all their ducks in a row so they can go do it. But if they try to go after him right now, they can't do anything about it because he's president of the United States. And you can't indict a sitting president for anything, even murder. What happens is... Wait wait a minute. No, there isn't. Policy, that's not a law. No, I would imagine there's a statute of limitations on certain crimes. And so if he can stay in office long enough... It'll go beyond what the seven years. Uh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Guns in the, and out, out in the back, they're playing music and singing. Here, eleven thirty at night, and they're going crazy. Yeah. Why don't you yell out the window? Hey, you kids, co- hold it down. So get off the ground. Oh, by good. the way, you might want to know Richard is trying to call in again using the group that, of course, I can't hook him in with. Uh, yeah, it showed up on mine too. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Anyway, uh, all I'm saying is, is that I, I think the worst thing that happened to him 
uh, was uh, being born. Uh, huh? <laughs> I said being born. No, it was is that he became president. Uh, that uh, it it That's just fun. wasn't it it it, it 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 because all the things that maybe he hid in the dark, things he yeah. did on the side, things he pushed under the rug, are now not being pushed under the rug. They're coming you know, to I, light. I just find it so funny that you know the Republican Party has mm -hmm. been such this you know moral beacon of light you know for morality well, they and claim you act yeah. but yeah he's he's, he's known to be cheating on his wives all of his wives and having hookers and prostitutes and crap like that why are the republicans speaking up and saying hey you know you're a scumbag we don't want you because uh, and then we'll go to patrick the reason is they're afraid of the base they're afraid that if they go against Trump and their the Republican base will will leave but them in their the home base territory. That I thought was supposed to be having these values. Well, the base no, the base never had these values. Who's the base? The base are a bunch of mouth breathers for Christ's sake. They're a bunch Who of hillbillies. Republicans. They're fucking hillbillies. That are Christians and they think that they don't do no wrong because you know. Well, you if you're a real life, Christian, you don't I don't see how you can find any redemption in Donald Trump's behavior, either with his wives or uh, uh, with with anything else in his life. Yes, uh, Patrick, and then M uh, Mark. Yes, Patrick. The, the thing is, Jason, with, with the base, um, they looked at, I think it was more of, are we going to win or not? And they kind of swept under the rug all of that other stuff because the biggest thing that I always wondered about which you brought up is the Republican Party has always stood as theoretically uh, evangelical Christian and you know there's no cheating there's no drinking you know all of that sort of stuff and when he came off that bus and said grab him by the pussy there were a few Republican friends and I when I still considered myself a Republican that said, well, I guess we've got President Clinton again. And I'll be damned if the base said they didn't care about that. And it just flabbergasted me. And that was the one thing that stuck with me that I ended up voting third party because I could not support somebody who went against what I consider my own morals. Um, and it just, it, it was like um, grabbing on a, a stinky old tuna fish sandwich, and I like tuna fish sandwiches, but I say, mm, I tuna. old rotten one. Yeah, right. Exactly. Just remember, yeah. Trump was a Democrat before he was a Republican. Okay, well, and and, and that's uh, that, that we're supposed to think that's a good thing, Mark. No, Mark had it. Mark, Mark, was cheating on Mark, his Mark has had his hand. As president of the United States. And if I'm repeating myself, Alex, I, again, this goes back to the one-upmanship that the Trump organization had against the Helmsleys. Always one-upmanship. Mm -hmm. You know, if uh, Lenora did something, then the Donald had to do something grander. It was, you know, it's like he won. It's like what more did this did this jerk want, you know? And, uh, you know, Vox Populi, for whatever reason. You know, the guy won, and it's what we've all, those of us, I think, in New York, who have all, always known, the guy's a crook. Yeah. You know? And, uh, again, I think about what your friend, Penn, Mr. Gillette, said. Yeah. And that stuck stuck with me, especially things that uh, Rick Overton has been observing. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's like no one seems to listen. Well, what did Penn say that resounded with you? <clears throat> um, about the fact that, you know, his opinion when it came to working with him on television. Oh, yes. But when it came to, you know, this guy being president. Mm hmm. Well, he also said, I think it was during the time that some people were saying that there are tapes and he was racist, he made racist comments on the set of the show, and I think Penn said that he did, that yeah. he heard them. They made him feel very uncomfortable, yeah. you know, 
Um, uh, so, yeah, yeah. I'd forgotten that Penn was even on that show, you know. But yeah. he was. You know, it's, oh, I mean, but it, 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 and it's interesting. I said this last night. I was watching uh, uh, a, a, a TV show about the about television in the 2000s, and it showed a clip of The Apprentice. And I went, he's wonderfully affable on this show. It isn't the Trump that we're seeing now. It was a different well, it, Trump that was being portrayed, at least on television. You know, it was the television Trump. And it was affable, and it was uh, he was making funny jokes, and they had him lit majestically so that his hair looked terrific, you know. Uh, of course, he was younger too at the time, but uh, it, it, that that is in contrast to the Trump we're seeing today, you know, which is a shit show. Um, anybody? Nobody has their hand up now. What do I do when I, nobody has their hand up? Uh, That's stretch. right. Huh? <laughs> we all agree. You got to stretch. Well, it's true. Yeah. I mean, yes. It's true. Yeah. And I watched uh, Get Me Roger Stone today, too, so it just kind of it gets uh, it gets right down to it. Isn't that an interesting film? It, yeah. it was. It was very interesting. He's, he's fascinating. Whether you he like is, him or not, a, he's, he's fascinating. He's a son of a bitch, and yeah. he loves it. Yeah. He's an unrelenting son of a bitch. He has yeah, makes he no has. excuses for his son of a bitchness. Yes, no, uh, he loves it. Jeff. The one thing I cannot figure out about Trump, because I, I consider him to be a racist, mm -hmm. and and or at least he's a part time racist. I'm right. not a racist. My daughter married a Jew. <laughs> well, that's yeah. the point. <laughs> I know. Well, she became and a Jew, by the way. She became a Jew. She converted. His, his, his daughter is a Jew now. She's married to a, an Orthodox Jewish guy. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the attorneys and, and uh, accountants and whatever yeah. that he hires yeah. are Jewish. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you're Jewish. You're going to be a saint. The, I didn't say that. No, no, but it's well, like I'm we have a term. We have a term, Jeff, for those kind of people who are Jews who would work with Trump, and that is they're a shanda for the goyim. Yeah. You know, um, it's that's a uh, that's a Jewish term for you're an Uncle Tom. That basically. I was say that, yeah. Well, you've had several Democrats in blackface. Mm -hmm. uh, you never found Trump in blackface. You've had several people that have worked for him that said that uh, they uh, didn't hear any racist remarks over a long period of time. Plus, he he was dated. It looks like for the last uh, for two years, this magnificent-looking woman named Kara Young. Well, he was married. No, no, no. He, he was, uh, I don't know if he was married, but they dated openly. Well, I mean, you don't know if he was married. The fact that you have to even say, I don't know if he was married, means that he was fucking a lot of women while he was married. Yeah. Uh, 1997. I don't know what his status was in 97. He, he, he's, been, he's been serially oh. married. I mean, he was with Ivana, and then he was with Marla Maples, and now he's with Ivana. How many people was he married to? He was, three, four. he was married to Ivana Trump. Yeah, but how many? Uh, four? He's had three marriages. Yeah. And then Marla Maples and Marla Maples. How many have you had? Huh? How many marriages have you had? Oh, I've had four. Same as Trump. But right? I, but by the way, I, I have to add, I wasn't going with the next one while I was still married to the <laughs> one before. Hey, hey, Phil, if you want to go there, how many times have you been divorced? Once. I mean, the, the old right, stories so about there, the old stories about them, about wife. them being on a skiing, <laughs> about them being on a skiing trip in Aspen, in which Ivana had to put up with Marla Maples being there. Now that's well, balls. That's you know, Marla had a mommy complex. <laughs> you know, she she was gorgeous. I saw her in a restaurant once. Yeah. And uh, in Buckhead, which is just north of Atlanta. I think I, I, I think I interviewed her as a matter of fact years yeah. ago. Yeah, uh, and and um, I I have in fact I'm going to run I'm running it this weekend on the uh, 
on the best of shows. I'm running uh, the interview that I did with uh, Ivana uh, years yeah. ago. Uh, and I found her to be rather uh, interesting and charming and smart, you know, uh, but thickly accented. Yeah. You know. Well, uh, he seems to like that. Well, he. Yeah. I don't know what he likes. I mean, he likes anything he can fuck around on, I guess. You know, these women will let him fuck around because he's got so much money. They don't want to lose the they don't want to lose the gig. You know, that's really what it's all about. I, I wonder if uh, Melania would, uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll knowingly allow that. She uh, has been. Really? Well, she hasn't divorced him yet, but we no, don't know what will happen. She has been. This was all she knew this was going on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, can she? She was. She just. Did she had just given birth to their to to their <laughs> child, Baron? Yeah, Baron. When he was yeah. fucking, when he was fucking the the porn star. And Cohen Stormy said Daniels. he had to sit there and tell her what lied to her. Cohen said he had to sit there and lie to her. Oh wow! Yes, uh, Patrick. I had a friend like that. <laughs> well, so, think of it this way. Um, I look at all of the marriages that Trump has had have been marriages of convenience, just like Hillary Clinton and Bill. I mean, it's all it's all a a contract. Because you think about marriage, it's a legal contract, and that's what what they agreed to. And I think it's all for financial gain, that especially with Trump and for Hillary, it was it was a convenience as well. And why why rock the boat? When your first lady in the governor's mansion with with Clinton, or or first lady of the United States with Clinton, or with Melania, and with all of the business stuff that Trump had going for years and years, mm -hmm. these men, his wives, they were put on a pedestal. They were treated like royalty. So they, I mean, they probably looked at it as. Look, if we I can stand this for X number of years, and they may have had actual contract between them saying Look, we need to be married for this number of years, and if you do, you know here's what your payout will be after, after divorce. I mean, like a baseball player. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Yes, Je Jeff. Yeah, I'm I'm curious about what Patrick's saying. As far as Clinton goes, do you know why they? Got married when, when they were relatively young. They they actually loved each other. She she didn't look that bad when she was younger. Oh, oh stop it! It has nothing to do with looking bad or looking no. good. The reason well, they the got married, from what I understand, not. what I understand is the reason they got married is they were both political junkies. They were they were activists. That yeah. was their that was their common bond was their yeah. their their political junkiness, and yeah. and yeah. Uh, they were both addicted to it and they both enjoyed it and I think even through all of it I think when he was che cheating on her she knew it she didn't care, you know they had an arrangement, yeah you know and the only reason she was pissed off at him, him the only reason she was pissed off at him for Monica Lewinsky was because part yeah, of the deal him. was just don't let anybody else find out. Yeah, yeah but she was public. doing the deed with Vince Foster? What? You think she was doing the deed with Vince Foster? No. No? No. That's a Republican myth. Yeah. Uh, uh, Maybe oh. Vanessa Foster. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think <laughs> she was having sex with Vince Foster. But I mean, Never know. I, I'm sure she, pro she may have been having her affairs on her own, too. I think they had... And they, their bond, the thing that kept them together, was their political uh, 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 junkiness. I mean, the fact they were both addicted to politics, yeah. and uh, you know, she she was very much uh, politically active as well. You know, I, I heard uh, a story. I heard a story that almost all the past presidents, except maybe Nixon. Uh, had had uh, affairs. Yes. Johnson, uh, oh, yeah. Roosevelt, uh, I think Truman. Uh, 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 Bush, Elder Bush. Uh, Elder Bush. He had, he had a mistress uh, here in New York. He had a mistress here in New York City. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's, uh, it went back. It went back. 
What 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 did you say, Jeff? When Truman was president, wasn't his wife already dead? No, his wife was alive. She was just drunk yeah. all the time. Yeah. She was an al raging alcoholic. And they, I remember the, when I was a kid, they always used to say in the news, "Well, she's at a, she's off to a spa," <laughs> and and she went to a spa for like three weeks at a time, and uh, she they they had to they had to keep sobering her up. She was in pretty bad shape that way. Now, Betty Ford was uh, an alcoholic. Oh, Betty, well, Betty Ford admitted it and did very good in yeah. the end yeah, by, yeah, by her. Good came about Ford had affairs, though. Yeah. Uh, yes, Patrick. Yeah, so think about it, though. The reason Nick then never had affairs, who the fuck would fuck him? <laughs> hey, there's, you know, there's an ass for every seat and a seat for every ass. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at every other president through history. They're all pretty reasonably decent looking men. Oh, no, no, no. What about Harrison and some of these guys, Grover <laughs> Cleveland? They were like 400 pounds. Yeah, but I. I, 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 I Women look like the men too, so you know. It, <clears throat> men, maybe the yeah, women but well, they but, dated. but but uh, for instance, as an example, Kennedy. Uh, when you want to talk about uh, uh, you know all this, you know these problems that way, uh, he was uh, he was quite the thing. He, you know, he. I interviewed a woman he had sex with, Blaze Star. She was a stripper. And uh, what's his name? The the governor of, uh, 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 not the governor, but the senator from uh, uh, Louisiana, uh, was played by Paul Newman in the movie. And he was uh, he was uh, the son of the Fink Kingfisher. What, what was that? What was that governor's name? Huh? Uh, do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. But anyway, he, he introduced him to Blaze Star, and according to Blaze, when I interviewed her, she said, oh, yeah, I fucked him in a closet. And I said, why? And she said, well, because he had a bad back and he had to have sex standing up. And uh, that was the most believable story I ever heard. <laughs> you know? So, uh, but, I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, uh Years ago, I was interviewing somebody who said in in Washington we have women who we call uh, who like to have power sex. Fuckers. They, they were called power fuckers. Yeah, that was the term that was used. And uh, he said they call them power fuckers because they like having sex with people who are in power. And so, what more powerful person would you want to have sex with than a president? You know, so well, or a senator or something like that. So, I also yeah. heard when I was in Washington at a, at a, at a conference, uh, there was this guy who got up and gave a speech on the sexual predilections of uh, men in power. And he said that the most asked for uh, sexual proclivity by uh, uh, men in office or men in power, yeah. like judges and so on, or heads of corporations is uh, being tied up and beaten. BDSM. And the reason is, is because they spend their entire time 24-7 wielding power, and when they have a sexual situation, they want to give it up. You know, they want to uh, release it. Yeah. Uh, yes, Thomas Pat. Jefferson, uh, you know, uh, has fathered uh, uh, women, uh, children with uh, his slaves, as, uh, you know. Yeah. And, well, what does that have to do with what I just said? Well, no, no, no. I was talking about presidents that had affairs. Yeah. Well, let's let's not let's not sully Jefferson. He can't. He's not here to be able to speak for himself. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> so, uh, so the the whole dominatrix thing is the main deal in Washington D.C. Then he said he said that the main the majority. Uh, the, the, the pr pr proclivity uh, yeah. in Washington was that particular practice. Yeah. Yeah. See, that would be useless on me. I mean, somebody could beat my legs to death, and it wouldn't do shit for me. They could bank me, and I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, and, and, and then you're not a candidate for this. Right. But that's, you know. that's right. No, but that they you're that they not in the dossier. Huh? 
he's not in the dossier. You know, over in Russia, they really know how to do it. Yeah. You know? uh, Charlie, well, you got your face. make a good roommate. <laughs> you say, David Zinner, Zinner from Louisiana, was known for being, you know, diaper. He liked to be in the diapers. Yeah. He like a baby. Vitter, yes. You yeah. remember Vitter. Yeah. So, I mean, but uh, I mean, and I don't, I don't put anybody down for these proclivities. I, everybody's got one. All of us yeah. have had some kind of sexual proclivity, except for Tony, who's probably never had sex. But, uh, <laughs> but swear, like, is he? Are but you but Tony, but even even if, you know, I'm sure even Tony has fantasies about strange stuff, right, Tony? <laughs> Your microphone isn't on, Tony. Your Tony, microphone Tony isn't on. Trade some comic books for a, uh, for a hooker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your microphone isn't on, Tony. Your microphone isn't on. Huh? Remember, no, not on. Calling, they, that's what I, there actually, you go. Actually, I'm busy doing trying to insure my comics. I'm, I have a lot of work to do, actually. So yeah. that's why you're not. I, I, that's why you're not having hookers come over for comic books. <laughs> Uh, no, they'll help you I'm insure them. Right. <laughs> I'm always busy doing something. Yeah, it's Tony. Yeah. yeah, Tony. Something cooking. It, what, what? Are you asexual? A, no. So you what do you like girls, sexual? or you do like girls, or you do like guys? You do like somebody? Uh, I really don't have to discuss my personal life with you. Don't take it personally. Yeah, I, I, I would agree because it could get very okay. ugly. Uh, no, we. So, it's never heard you talk about dating anybody, so I, I'm just curious. It's been well, I really don't know you personally, so I really wouldn't probably talk to you about it. Ah, you see? See? <laughs> this guy has a certain sense of keeping his cards yeah, to I his vest. Yeah, I my personal life personal. Yeah. But just, you talk about your mom, you talk about your, yeah, your but siblings. I have a and certain your... with them. I'm not, I'm not mad, but I have a certain wall that I really wouldn't share with you because you're really not my friend. I've never heard Tony get this testy before. I'm not getting testy. Oh, no, I have. I heard him tell Phil, shut the fuck up. To, and that was if good. you ask me something personal <laughs> offline, I would be gladly to share my feelings. Okay. So, see? But if he starts texting you, it will never stop. No, I will never text him. <laughs> <you. laughs> and I don't mean anything personal to John. Yeah. I just don't feel like. I have to discuss my feelings, like on the internet. I'm a personal person, really. Yeah, I know. If it was I, offline, if we were having coffee. I would have no problem talking to people. On the hand, on the other hand, I'm not, which is, makes me a creep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but and anyway, oh, well, is me, so. I still like everybody. Oh, I know you do. You're one of the nicest people I know, Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I appreciate that. I, you know, I'm not, I don't mean anything bad about anything. Like yeah. that. I don't want them to get upset. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually a, a closed book, but I, I'd be more than happy to share my insights on a cup of coffee if you really wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to cost a cup of coffee to find out about your sex life? I'll pass. I'll pass. But Alex has me nailed pretty good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, this has been fun tonight. Yeah. Uh, after we got all the technical problems solved, not mine, but somebody who couldn't find a mute button for a half hour. Here, wait, let, me share, let me share real quick. What? I'm going to share my screen real quick here. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, Alex, don't forget to unblock him so you can call Jack. Yeah, I will. In fact, let me do that. Let me do that right. Where is it? Hey. I don't have his name here anymore. Huh? Yeah, Patrick, I'll, I'll do it afterwards. Yeah, yes, Patrick, quickly. Message me so I know that you haven't been eaten alive by a shark. Oh, uh, if I have internet, there's no internet on the boat. No, it'll be no, yeah. Fuck that! I'm gonna go collect all the tuna I can, then so they go after me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, listen. Thank you, Jeff, uh, for being with us tonight. Jeff Stein, Phil Meyer from uh, from the Bahamas. Kevin, uh, he's out there in California. Jason, thank you so much. Charlie Wallace, always a pleasure. Mark, love it when you call. I just love it when you call, just for the smile. Tony Magno. Thank you so much for calling. Well, and Patrick Blazik, of course, always fun, always a big hey, pleasure. This is uh, the first Gabnet call from the Caribbean. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Everybody, 
Don't lose your wallet. <laughs> wave, a big wave goodbye, okay? And I'll wave back at you. All right, there they go. That's the citizen panel. And it worked okay tonight, uh, except for a few problems with people who couldn't, didn't know how to turn off their, uh, their mute their phone. Anyway, hey, listen, that's it for tonight. Uh, hopefully, God willing, uh, next is uh, uh, a, a guy that we know very well as uh, Jack Bishop with The Intersection. And uh, then we'll be back again uh, next uh, third t- Tuesday, <laughs> 10 o'clock at night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>